This is an LG LCD television screen, or LG calls it an LED screen because there's LED black lighting. And you'll notice we've got three bright spots on this screen. Uh, this is caused by little plastic lenses inside of the screen that have fallen out over time uh, because LG uses very average glue to hold them together. Um, so we had this first bright spot and I tried to squeeze the screen together and in doing so I've actually knocked it loose. That then took out uh, the lens below it so we ended up with two bright spots and over time we've had a third one develop at the bottom. And if you look at the bottom you might see the three rings there. Now what's going to happen over time is more of these will just fall out and we'll just get bright spots all over the screen. So we're going to have to pull this television apart, get to those little plastic lenses and glue them back in with some stronger glue. And hopefully we'll get rid of all the bright spots that way. So this is what the television looks like when we've laid it face down. So I've removed the feet and unplugged it of course, laid it on its front. I've used some uh, soft material to lay it on to protect it. There's some of the tools we're using. I'm using Tarzan's grip uh, glue so you can use any sort of glue that's strong and it will hold for a while. I've got some gloves there and some screwdrivers and that should be all, should be all that we need for now I think. So we're going to undo all the screws on the outside of the TV and get to work. So now we've got the back cover off the television. You can see at the bottom there is another plastic cover and it has four screws that we need to remove. So the arrows are pointed to those screws. Once we unscrew each of those screws, we should then be able to take that plastic cover off and access those black speakers underneath. And then we should be able to remove those speakers and remove the cable that attaches those speakers to the television circuit board. So let's undo those screws now. Okay, we've got that internal cover off. Uh, now you can see the two black speakers are exposed. There's the left hand speaker. So we're going to remove that first. So we just uh, give it a bit of a jiggle and a bit of a pull and it should come loose. And so that one's off. And then we do the right hand speaker. So again, we just grab hold of it, give it a bit of a jiggle and pull that off. Okay, then there's a cable attached between those speakers to the main board, so we pull off this tape here, and there's another bit of tape in the middle there. Now we need to just press down on the top of that plug, the clip there, unclick that, and now the speakers are loose. Okay, and next stage you can see there's ribbon cable here attached to the main circuit board, so we're going to have to remove that as well. So we just flick this little bit up and flick that one up as well. Give that a gentle jiggle and give the bottom one a gentle jiggle. Now uh, you notice they are labelled 1 and 2. You might not be able to see that on the video. Um, but one is shorter than the other and should be fairly straightforward when we plug them back in again to know which way they go in. Okay, so we untake that out. And what are we going to do next? Uh, we're going to have some more screws to undo here around the outside and so we undo any other screws on the outside and then we've got an internal another internal plate there so we need to get that off so we undo the rest of these screws and we'll carry on okay so we've unscrewed all of those screws on the outside and I've just realized there's some more here so we need to unscrew these ones as well 
then we should be able to take that bottom protective cover off. So let's undo those few screws and we should be able to flick that off. Okay, so now to get that protective cover off, I've got a flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to give it a little flick. Sorry about the video, I'm doing this with one hand. We jiggle that loose, and out that comes. Well, I think it'll come out. There we go. Now we've got that little uh, strip at the bottom, the circuit board at the bottom, so we're going to have to get that out as well. It's just held in by little plastic holders. So we're just going to grab it gently, try not to touch the gold bits on it. So you put your finger at the top there and just pop it out of those little plastic holders. And it should come out fairly easy. And it has a ribbon cable attached so we should be able to fold that right down. So when we pull the television apart, that can be separated and we're not going to break anything. Okay. Okay, all the screws on the outside of the television have been undone, so we can tip it on its side and remove this frame, so it should gently come away if we uh, just give it a little bit of a jiggle, be careful not to bend or break it. Okay, the screen is placed face down again, and if we grab these metal bits, we should be able to pull the back away from the screen and take that screen away. So that's a bit of perspex or plastic or whatever the display part of the television. So we'll remove that, and then I'm sure we've got more screws to undo. Okay, so I've tipped the television over face up and it doesn't look like we do have any more screws. I hope not. Uh, but we do have this black plastic frame around it, so we'll have to get that off. So, so those little black tabs there, we just got to loosen those and uh, do it with your fingers, should be fine. It comes away. And if we should be gentle with it, because it is a bit fragile, this bit. Um, and you can break those little plastic bits, little plastic tabs, which I think I may have just done. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can break one of them, but just don't break too many because we have to put it back together again. Okay, now we've exposed those white sheets. We should be able to just peel those back and get to the lenses underneath. So let's lift that up, and there are our little plastic lenses. As you can th see the three down the bottom, all of the others are in place, so we need to have a look at those lenses and uh, glue them back in again. Okay, so all of the lenses were a bit loose, so I've going to pull them all out and glue them in. You can see those three rubber holes there which is where the three feet sit. So each lens has three little feet on the bottom. So we're just going to take a wooden skewer, put a little bit of our uh, Tarzan's grip glue on the skewer and stick it on each of those three feet and then pop those three feet back in the hole so those lenses sit flush in there and we'll just give it time to cure. So there's the three feet you can see as I hold it up to the camera. So put a little bit of glue on each of those and stick it in position and push it down firmly. Then we'll have to leave it for a while. So now you can see all of our lenses are back in place. We've glued every single one of them and the glue has had time to cure. So if you leave it for an hour or so, but depends on the instructions on the glue that you're using. 
now what we're going to have to do is uh, put the TV back together again and hopefully it still works after all of that um, hopefully you don't have any screws left over there's a lot of pieces there so try and do everything in the order the opposite order to what you took it apart and cross our fingers and hopefully it all works Okay, now for the moment of truth. We're going to switch this TV on. We've put everything back together. We've got no screws left over. That's always good. And we'll see if it works. And yes, yes it works. Great. Now let's see if we've got any white spots. It doesn't look like it. Um, we've only got a black screen at the moment, so the white spots weren't showing up too bright on there, but they were still showing up. So once the software boots up, we'll be able to bring up our web browser. So that will give us a nice white background and we'll be able to make sure there are no spots. So here it comes. Yeah, blue screen looks good and we'll just wait till the white screen comes up. Yes, where are those big bright spots? They're gone. Very happy with that. Thank you.